Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And uh, we are starting this video at about 47 hours into the Deadman World Tournament. The stats are on the screen and we just finished the second Abyssal Demon task. And in this video, the plan is simple. We do want to get Kraken and with Kraken, we're going to be training our mage to 99. If we get tasks such as Abyssal Demons or anything other than that, we're going to be training our attack to 99 and the defense to 99. Abyssal Demons were pretty friendly to us. We ended up getting three arctic emblems so now we can get rewards and we can get ourselves a rune pouch very nice now we're gonna go and take the task from duradel 84 magic all right the first duradel task is going to be hellhounds a very good task and it allows me to train my attack further there we go 94 attack only five more levels to go all right mantare again i mean with all the supply drops i'm getting right i might never be even needing to buy any sorts of food like i'm getting look <laughs> kraken abyssal demons perfect nice that's a cool job blood rune death runes and chain body oh fuck uh okay we just got 95 attack and 850 total another archaic did how do you even say this arctic okay archaic emblem very nice we got it <laughs> big chance oh shit okay i'm getting attacked i felt like it's gonna happen all right let's see what we can do The unfortunate thing is that I do not have a combo food. So that means I need to eat 3 brews and 1 restore. Oh, well played. Damn. All right, let's talk about the fact as to why I died in this clip. I'm going to try to break the situation down just so you guys don't do the same mistakes I did and you can learn from it. And I learned from it as well as you will be able to see in the future clips. Now, my biggest mistake was the fact that I didn't have black dehydes on me. I was too greedy and I thought that I just don't need them as I thought I was fairly safe to escape anyone but I didn't account to a chance of being TB so basically they caught me off guard with that TB uh, beforehand I had three chances to escape all I have to do is when I'm above stairs for example and I get attacked I need to attack back start my PJ timer and then go downstairs and spend click teleport however they were ready and as soon as I did that they followed me back on the stairs and then hit me so I couldn't do that so the simple counter to that would be to simply hit them, go down the stairs, wait a second, go up the stairs and then spam click teleport and hope that they went down the stairs at the same time. Now you need to play a little bit of mind games when you do this. However, here I was very sleep deprived. I didn't have the proper gear to fight them and I went down fair and square. They hit me very nicely. They had this guy upstairs um, and he tanked for 10 minutes to lose aggro on the aberrant specters making it so they killed me in the end. However, I lost basically no progress because of that, because I have extra VLSs in my bank. Goodbye VLS, we have three VLSs, it's no problem. Well played to Tata for killing me, however, we do have to return to the shop and buy rune pouch back and buy looting bag back. And now we're just gonna train with the whip, it is what it is, happens, it was my miss. Oh, I also need to get Barrow's gloves back, forgot about that, so after that we just return to Slayer, we get all the 99s. And uh, it's all gonna be just... Oh! Barrow's gloves. There we go. And we are pretty much ready to go back.
really quickly we're getting closer and closer to 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone who leaves comments on my videos and leaves likes uh, every single Deadman Mode video so far got 2,000 likes so let's shoot for 2,000 likes on this video as well we need to kill desert lizards therefore I'm just quickly getting myself 20 construction just so I can move my house to Polnivnich okay so we got ourselves 20 construction which is required to move my house to Polnivnich just so I can dodge the shanty area and I will train construction more at a later date. Since I might be doing a lot of skip tasks, let's uh, just buy a lot of accumulators. Uh, eventually I plan on doing a lot of AFK wilderness training, even when I'm not paying attention to the game. Therefore, these are gonna come in handy. As you guys maybe know, muling is perfectly fine and allowed. Black demons, that's pretty good. That's a solid task, let's do it. There it is, 96 attack and just 3 more to go. With whip it is a bit slower, so maybe like 3 or 4 more hours. Probably 3 more hours until 99. There it is, 88 slayer already. Here we go, something that's gonna help us with cash. Another emblem, tier 5, very beautiful. And we get 200 greater demons. 97 attack, decided to do my greater demon task out here in the current and there is nobody to be seen. I edited for an entire duration of that task and I still have more editing to do. And I think I can do that with, uh, maybe not really, with gargoyles. At least I'll make a lot of money. Very nice. Look at it, the first Gmall of the tournament. I think there's many on the market yet. We're gonna see how much we can sell this bad boy for. I'm gonna assume it's around 300k at the moment, but it could be much more, it could be much less. It is still one of the most powerful weapons in the game, as it can pretty much stack anyone for full HP. So if it's not worth too much, I might actually keep it, uh, put the mall handle on it so it becomes 50% speckened and use it as an anti-PK weapon. Um, but yeah, very happy with this one. Oh, I got another one. <laughs> Here we go, slowly but surely, one level at a time. 98 attack so now we have a good hour away from being 99 in that skill as well at that point we can finally start beefing the account up get the defense levels get the combat levels we are already 113 and i'm only 70 combat so as soon as i get this next level my combat is gonna skyrocket and then my beefiness is also gonna skyrocket really looking forward to it so i kind of don't actually want to get a kraken task in the near future because i do want to get those defense levels and that 99 attack and then i also get the trimmed cape which gives me extra prayer bonus all small things like that that add up but anyways let's go ahead finish this task okay marvel gargoyle the first one of the tournament here we go let's see what do we get 27k experience and uh, we got some manta rays 89 slayer as well i didn't have the pop-up on the here so i didn't know it was gonna happen but very cool almost done with the task and we ended up getting another marble marble gargoyle and we ended up getting gold bars, 727k off of that task. But honestly, I think it's way more because I can sell these two for between 200 and 300k. So it was over a mil worth of task, I'd, I'd say. Maybe about a mil. Very nice. To put it in perspective, if you guys are wondering, a VLS in Deadman mode money is about 2.7 mil. We ended up buying another VLS. All right, this is fifth task in a row, so I really want to do it. Abyssal Demons. Beautiful. And on top of that, that's going to be the task for 99 attack. And on top of that, 85 magic, and we can now cast teleport block. Supply drop, nice amount of nature runes, and some smoke runes. Oh, nice okay very nice um we just got ourselves a tier 5 emblem and there it is 99 attack was just accomplished and that trims our cape up very nicely so now our cape brings us prayer bonus as well and now i can start getting some mad levels in defense so i'm really looking forward to that oh nice another arctic emblem very nice still have 38 on the task i'm out of prayer potions though holy moly we got points 15 points for for the task finally did five in a row anyways um already 77 defense as you can see this is now going extremely fast unfortunately i did the last 20 kills being non-potted so that took forever but we've done it 116 combat let's hopefully get on a nice little task streak right now so we so we accumulate some extra points because we really need them i do want to extend kraken for example Ah, yes, we got call fights again. I'm kind of tempted to do them. Well, looks like we have done it. I've completed a call fight task without dying. That does not happen often. 
Um, but yeah, there it is, six tasks done and we now have points to skip it once. However, I might be actually doing the Calphite tasks in the future and this is what I risked. I didn't really risk much aside from this maybe Oak Planks and this Manta Rays. Not too bad, like I have a lot of fillers in the bank at the moment. I kind of really want to get an AFK task so I can keep editing and we get Gargoyles, I think I can make it work. Nice, look at this, another emblem on the floor right now, we're just gonna pray piety. Uh, pick this one up and there's uh, rune battle x on the floor there as well very very nice god damn 90 slayer dark beasts very nice not gonna do either of those but almost done with this gargoyle task of emblems ah oh, shit i just got gmol yes let's go Woo! gotta love me some gargoyle tasks 400k here three 35k here an archaic emblem here not bad Okay, I really need a Kraken task because I do have offers for over 100 million old school RuneScape GP per Kraken, per Trident I mean. Uh, Black Dragons, quick task, easy points, let's do it. I did just end up getting 84 defense and with that we are now combat level 118 already. That is like really crazy. I am planning on getting fully maxed 126 with 99 prayer, I have decided. Um, but yeah, for now, let's keep slaying, keep doing tasks so we keep gathering points and then extend Krakens and after I have them extended, I will just power skip tasks until I get Kraken tasks, pretty much that's the plan and hopefully I, I get the defense to at least 90 um, before I really focus on Kraken. I really hope I can get Kraken, Abby Specs, not a bad task, honestly, let's do it and the next one after this is actually gonna be the 10th task in a row, so we are finally gonna be getting a lot of points. Very nice. Big level 85 defense. Here we go, task number 10 in a row is gonna give us a lot of points. We got some Hellhounds, we're gonna get some defense levels. Very, very nice. Oh, he's running, but Capril wanted to be in the video. Lucky for him, we did just get a supply drop, so we can include the fella in the video. Tier 5 emblem, another one. At this point, I lost count. We have a bunch of them in the bank, so very easy rebuild if we die at some point. And here we just got 75 points for completing the 10th task in a row, so we finally have quite some points to skip bad tasks. But first, I do want to unlock Kraken extension, so I do hope uh, that's enough points for that. All right, we can unlock crack on and still have 60 points to spare. Very nice, what do we get next? How perfect is that? 167 cave kraken, that's gonna be amazing magic XP. And on top of that, um, we have a chance of basically 100 mil 07. I'm gonna get ready and go straight into it. <gasps> no. I got a Kraken tent. Oh, that's like 10 times as rare as the Trident. And I got offered over a hundred mil for Trident. And tent isn't that useful. I mean, it creates a tentacle whip, which fair enough, it's very good, but there's VLS and you know, VLS is better. Oh man. It looks good though. In every other tournament before, before VLS was a thing, that was by far the hardest item to get, and by far the best item to get. God damn. Okay, well, let's keep going. Here we go, a third magic level, this task already. As you can see, that's what I had in mind. You can basically get about 1.6 mil XP an hour if you arc between every single hit. However, I'm spending quite a bit of time just enjoying streams right now, currently watching Sick Nerd. And um, yeah, basically, we're gonna be doing this till 99, probably even post-99. Why is this guy invisible? Well, there's an invisible Kraken if you've ever seen it before. Um, but yeah, the plan, near plan, is 94 as fast as possible, pretty much. And hopefully we can reach that uh, later today. Here we go, 89 magic, 5 more levels to go. There it is, 91 Slayer. That means we can now do Cerberus. However, I'm gonna stay away from doing Cerb until the point where I'm absolutely maxed. Simply because there is no point in rushing Sir Boots as they are not that valuable as of yet, but they will be eventually. At the moment, Tridents are just valued so high that I think this task is by far a priority. Okay, 90 magic. Four more levels to go. There it is, 91 magic. Six levels already just in one task. There is one thing I forgot to do on this account, and that is to ask the combat tutors 
to toggle my ammo so it automatically goes into my pouch or into my quiver is i think that's what it's called automatically equip it is all i have to say and there we go automatically sent to rune pouch so yeah we just finished the kraken task and ended up getting six magic levels in the process which is really insane and now we're gonna go ahead and uh, grab another task and then prepare everything for tomorrow and then i'll go and uh, never include this in video because i'm rambling <laughs> Fire Giants, that task is actually pretty okay. Uh, so I will be doing all of these tasks all the way until I'm done with my defense training, which is 99. After that, I will pretty much be only doing Abyssal Demons, Gargoyles, Necreals maybe, or just straight up only skip for a Kraken. And now we have no points left, which is perfectly fine because I have extended what I wanted to extend. Abyss Specs, however, fairly decent task and we will do it tomorrow. I'm gonna go to sleep now. If you're wondering why I just wasted my points like that, is because there is no problem whatsoever. I planned on getting rid of all the points anyways, because I'll be doing one Turel task, and then one Duradel task, and then one Turel, one Duradel, and I'll only be doing tasks like uh, Abyssal Demons and uh, Krakens. Oh, there we go, 90 defense, and we also just achieved 91 Slayer earlier. It is the morning, it is the first clip, but that is a very nice level. Okay, light change of plans. We are gonna be using about 300 D-Bones to try and get a bit more prayer experience. Let's see where we get to. 74 prayer, which means we can now unlock Rigor once we get the scroll. Not quite enough for 77 for Augury, but thank you Frenchie for hosting an altar for me. Now let's go and return to the task. I did have like uh, 12 more um, Spectres to kill. The stats are starting to come together, only 9 more levels in defense and um, 8 more levels in magic I guess, so fire giants, pretty decent task, let's go ahead and do it. Um, I'm gonna be doing, as I said probably yesterday, uh, I'll be doing all the tasks that uh, I can do, I don't know, basically I need 99 defense. Okay, there's one thing that we want from here and that is ornate mall handle, I can put this onto my granite mall. And I make it uh, strong. Uh, this is going to be very useful when I use Abyssal Whip on my tasks. And because I can pretty much 100 to 0 someone that attacks me. So that's going to be helpful. I wish I did that a bit sooner. However, now we do have the task of Fire Giants. We also now moved up in the world and we are combat level 120. Damn. Here we go, up to 91 defense. And the new task is 158 abyssal demons let's do it and there it is 92 slayer already um if you guys were wondering what ranking slayer i am i'm currently ranked 2 slayer and i could probably push towards rank 1 slowly but surely but eventually i do want to do hydras because if i get something like a dragon hunter lance it's gonna be worth absolute bank on deadman mode same goes with the gloves xp like it's insane Hey, there we go 92 defense I'm getting 1.5 mil XP an hour, so I could be done in about 3 to 4 hours if I get good tasks where I can just train defense. Dude, these are so tanky, it's actually so hard to kill them. 42,000 experience, and we get some runes. Here we go, another emblem, very nice, that's 300k to the bag. There it is, up to 93, but I'll keep it in mind for the next time. Ooh, 98 hit points. One more level to go and then we can exchange the cape into a hit points cape because it regenerates your HP twice as fast. And it's pretty nice if you're flicking and you miss flick, you have that HP regen coming back. So let's get one more HP level. Necreal, good task, let's do it. So we just got 94 defense and uh, yeah, five more levels to go. It's going pretty fast, 1.1 mil XP an hour right now because I haven't reset it or anything like that, so... 600k from that neck real trip very very nice um i also ended up upgrading to dragon boots cost me once again about 600k so pretty much imagine i sell all of that buy the boots and yeah we are also few hits away from 95 defense and uh can we get the kraken no but we can do more abyssal demons which is fine with me because i'm two tasks dry of a whip so i'm expecting two whips from this task and i will get two whips let's go Oh well, look at that. That is a beautiful looking whip on the ground. Whip this kill. <gasps> no way! Dude! LOL! He logged in, said whip this kill. We get the whip. As if, dude.
This is like the best clip I've seen all day. Holy shit. We got another archaic emblem. I think I said it right this time. And that's 300k to the bank. And there it is. 96 defense. Three more levels to go. Do we get a combat level? 122. Okay, we're doing another swap right here. 12.5 million um, 07 for one of the whips that we recently received. Very nice. That's gonna move our cash up to 37.5 mil. And here we have it. Here is a whip. My end of a deal. Very nice. At this point, I kind of want to get a task that I can keep training defense on. Or we can get almost max amount of cave krakens and do those instead. Oh man, if I don't get trident right now, I'll also be using the bracelet. So this is going to be exciting. I'm really looking forward for that. To that. For that. I don't know. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, this guy's also gaming. Oh my god, guys, that right here is 100 million 07 just waiting to be picked up. Dear god, and 92 magic. Okay, let me just do this real quick and TP out as fast as I can. All right, we got ourselves a deal with another streamer. BF Rocket is offering us 100 million, and we will give him a trident and a whip. So we gave a little bit of a bonus, uh, but I think it's fair for both of us. And uh, yeah, I'm actually really happy for this. So here we have him on the other account. We offer him a whip and a trident. So there we go. I'm assuming that's you, right? You're Thibaut Andy. Let me just, let me just make sure that's you. I'm going to wait till you confirm it. Because it would be really awkward if that is not actually you. Okay, so we have both screens right here. We confirm 100 mil 07. We are now 100 mil richer. And here we confirm Abyssal Whip for a Trident. Very nice, and I wish you best of luck! What, like... Oh, fuck. Well, there we go, 93 magic, just one more level to go for that awesome barrage. Uh, we just got another ar archaic... Okay. Archaic emblem. There it is, very nice. Very nice, happy with this one. We also only have... Wait, nine more charges, holy shit. Trident next kill. Trident next kill. Oh my god, what? 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 Hello? Nah, bro. Nah. Dude, there's a second time this has happened. Deep, go. Run. Run. Nah, dude, what? Hello? No way, man. What is this? <laughs> this is the best clip of the year. And there it is, another 99 on the account, 99 hit points. And this skill, is this skill cape is actually going to be the most useful skill cape, I'd say. Because it uh, makes your HP regen faster if you wear it. So we're gonna use that one instead of strength cape once we get around to buying one. So yeah, now the plan is pretty simple. 99 magic left, 99 defense left, and at the very end we're gonna be focusing on range. And in the meantime, I guess we're gonna try to get more slayer levels. Oh man, oh my god, are you taking a... this is insane. <laughs> oh mate, three tridents, one task, someone is gonna be fuming. Uh, well, we, we got another one. <laughs> we, an, another 80 mil maybe? There it is, 95 magic, four more levels to go. Okay, so here we have another Deadman Mode trade, another Trident, this time around for 50 million. So that is pretty much um, a little bit less than earlier, obviously. The price will drop the more people get the Slayer level required to do it, but uh, let's see if he will be okay with that. Ah, there we go. Okay, so he finally accepted. Uh, he wasn't exactly 100% sure that everything is legit. And we accept him with a trident. There we go. So fairly decent trade. We've made over 107 million already from just swapping. Very nice. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I really do hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm really putting many, many hours in creating these videos and streams and everything. And I enjoy it. And it just feels amazing when you guys enjoy it too. So if you made it this far in the video, a simple three seconds to like it would mean a lot to me. And what you can also do is you can check my second channel today. There will be a new upload. My second channel is currently only on 3000 subscribers. And I upload everything 
something outside of RuneScape onto it. So for example, today's video is going to be League of Legends related, but I can upload anything pretty much that isn't RuneScape on that channel. With all that being said, thank you for watching this very long video, and I will be seeing you again tomorrow with another one. Have a good one and bye-bye.